Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the all new Fet Tech G4. That's right, I said G4. If you knew about this board, then you are expecting that. But if you did not know about this board, then you have got to be <laughs> excited. All right. We fly F4s, we fly F7s, and not too long ago, Dominic Clifton introduced to the market H7s, which, as y'all know, the H7 hype has been nice and there's been a lot of h7 boards kiss themselves is even dropping a new kiss h7 i think they're calling it uh the ultra board huh but fettech has pushed the bar just a little bit more and we are now about to dive into a fettech g4 if you're not excited then i'm excited for you let's go Alright pilots, I am so excited to introduce to you the Fet Tech G4 board. I'm excited. We're going to dive in. We're going to check it out. I may even throw it in the scope if you're lucky. Huh? Huh? So if you're familiar with KISS and you're familiar with Fet Tech, you must know they are not the same company. Okay, Fet Tech is licensed to use the KISS GUI or KISS configurator, and that 4 means that it runs its firmware. And that firmware, if you fly KISS and you love the magical sauce that's inside, then you love Fettech as well. So let's go ahead and dive into this board and crack it open. This new flight controller has a G4 microprocessor on it. And that processor is running up to 512 KB of flash at 170 megahertz. Now, if you're familiar with F7s, H7s, like for example, H7s, they're running at 400, 480 megahertz. I mean, depending on your chipset. So to say, Drayman, why do we care about 170 megahertz? Well, I'm going to tell you why. And the reason why is because although the board is only running at 170 megahertz, all of the peripherals are also running at 170 megahertz, which is so freaking fast. So at 170 megahertz, okay, right? So G4, 170 megahertz on the peripherals and the other boards, 80, 100 on their peripherals. Let's talk about this. If your CPU is running 80% idle or 50% idle why does that matter if your peripherals are running at a faster rate so if you're con if you're confused about that jump on the internet check it out but your peripherals are all of your SBIs your I2Cs your UARTs that is your peripherals that is what we're running on this board those running double the speed meanwhile our CPU load is perfectly fine at the percentage that it's running I, I'm excited. I think this is a great idea. Truly impressed. And honestly, we won't know until we get it in the air. So let's go ahead and check this out. So inside the package, you've got yourself your different cables. If you're familiar with Fed Tech or KISS, you don't get much. So we've got three open-ended plugs. They're not closed jumpers, right? Plug for plug. If you buy the Fed Tech stack, ESE flight controller G4, you will have what you need inside of the package of the ESE to make your jump happen. That's it inside of your case. One, two, three, we've got a case, we've got open-ended plugs, three of them, that's it. Throw that to the side. Now, inside of the package, we have this magnificent, glorious. I'm excited. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got. This board is absolutely awesome. So on the back side, we have all four connectors, and that would be if I turn the board just like this, we've got our motors one through four, and then we've got our motors five through eight, okay? And then that also gives you your VCC and your ground, and your telemetry, or if you're running FETTECH one wire, you've got both those connections right here. Now you've also got a connector here for one of your peripherals, and then you've got your receiver plug right here down at the bottom. And I do wanna flip this over because right up here, you've got two more connectors. You've got one here, which is another one for peripherals, and you've got another connector right here, which can be used for your camera slash VTX. So that's, that's your call. 
you use them what you want and basically they've given you the jumpers for that so if you're thinking how am I going to connect that you would plug this guy in and then the, put the respective wire to the correct connection okay. this board is loaded down with features I mean I don't even know where to start uh, it's got 170 megahertz with the math accelerator. You're running an MPU 6000. This board can handle anywhere from 2 all the way to 6S LiPo. If we take a look, we've got onboard dedicated BEX. Okay. They can handle 600 milliamps a piece. And what's cool about that is you've got 5 volts and then you've got a switchable 5 volt, 16 volt. That means for all of the guys that run DJI air units and are concerned with making sure the air unit doesn't get too much voltage, this is your break from that because on board, you no longer have to worry about an external BEC. You've got one on board. Very, very cool. You've also got five UARTs and they're gonna run fast. Something very cool introduced on this board is around the four corners, you do have a ESC connection Nowadays, guys aren't really running single ESCs. I feel like four ones have taken over the market, but there was a point in time where we used to favor the single ESCs and you would buy boards that have ground, telemetry, and your signal all on each arm. Well, Fat Tech has introduced that and made that possible on this board. Also, very important to mention, this board is just like pretty much their other board where you've got 30 by 30, but if you snap these tabs off inside the middle, you've got 20 by 20 that you can go ahead and use a little screwdriver or something and break that out and now you can fit an M3. If you are gonna mount M2, very nice, they hooked you up with that and that's with that little bit of PCB board that's left inside. That is to give you your M2 mounting. All right, we are still running the micro USB. We have our boot button right here. We've got numerous, numerous things to talk about. Let's dive into uh, how cool is this. We've got one, two, three, and four RGB LEDs on board addressable. Yes, you can change the color of these, make one, each one a different color, make them all the same. Who cares? How cool is that? All right, so through the new STM32 G4 chip that is on this board, you have OSD. Now, through that OSD, you have got some awesome, awesome stuff. We are talking a full graphical OSD. Anybody who's been flying KISS for a while knows we've been we've been wanting some OSD for a long time. So now we're in the digital world. We've got, you know, we've got OSD built in to our DJI. So I mean it's really not a big deal. But if you're running analog, you're welcome. You've got OSD now. Full graphical OSD at that. You've got connections for a VTX with real pit. Okay? I'm gonna touch on real pit because personally I would wire up my Cadix Vista to the real pit and now I've got the power to my unit on a switch. If ever I want to shut it down, I want to work on it, I don't want to burn it up, whatever, I can literally shut off my entire air unit or my entire Cadix Vista and do whatever I want. So, so you've got live data graphs that are available, okay? We're talking voltage, motor RPM, you're talking current, motor temp, gyro values, link quality, the list goes on. You've got KISS GPS support, you've got live map, you've got uh, your custom pilot logo we can put on here. If you're interested, let me know. I will show a full setup on this board. You've got your stick overlay, custom layouts, everything you want to do. And also, you can deactivate the OSD if you're going to run digital. There is a jumper. You jump it. Okay, so if you are familiar with the FET Tech Configurator, it's not used for anything other than a pass-through to get to your FETTEC ESE. You can set up things like soft brake. You can set up things like slow start. You can reverse your motor direction. That is what the FETTEC configurator is for. Not anymore. 
guess what? Now you jump into the Fat Tech Configurator. Uh huh. You go, well, first you need to download the new one. And if you don't know how to do that, shout out, let me know, and I'll show you how to set it up. You go ahead and set up the new Fat Tech Configurator. Yes, sir. Then you go in, you take this board, you select USB, select the right com port, and press connect. Once you're in, you'll see that the FetTech G4 is being connected. You'll flash it. Once you get flashed, now, guess what? You'll now have an option for the flight controller pass-through to set up your OSD. How cool is that? All right, and once your OSD has been set up through the FetTech configurator, from the radio, you will 50% your throttle, you know, whatever, half, uh, throttle halfway, then you yaw left, pitch up, something like that, and it will get you into your menu, and you can set everything up from there. How awesome is that? All right, so we have gone over the board itself. We have discussed some of the features. We have discussed some of the options. Let's go ahead and dive into the scope and take a closer look. All right, pilots, we have got the scope set up. I'm excited to dive in a little bit closer. Let's take a look. So, oh my gosh, look at that. This board is super, super nice. If we dive in, you can see right here we've got our, what, MPU 6000. We got a little bit of glare going. Look at that. So there's your MPU 6000 right there. If I spin the board, okay, you can see right there, STM 32G491CEU6. And I, I went ahead and I, I pulled this chip up. These specs are through the roof. This is an awesome, awesome chip. I don't know if it actually compares to an H7, but the idea behind it is, is that this chip for FPV drone flight makes more sense. I mean, at least that's what FedTech's saying. All right, so let's take a look. We've got a beautiful row of pads right here. We've got our five volt pad. We've got an RGB, uh-huh, LED, baby. We've got a ground. We've got a back that is a switchable back. You can use it from five volts to 16 volts. Very, very awesome. Underneath that, we've got our V out. That is your video out. So you would wire that to your VTX if you're flying analog. Underneath that, we have TX3. Now, TX3 is not just TX3. That is also where you would run your control for your VTX, right? So, Tramp, Smart Audio, whatever you want to use, that's the one that you would use that for. All right, next row of beautiful pads. We've got a little glare going on, but that is your OW, OW pad. OW. Just kidding. That is for one wire. That is your Fat Tech one wire. If you've ever wired it, never used it, it's awesome. I love it. Right here, we've got our R pit, which is our real pit. We've got a ground buzzer minus. Then you have your five volt, which is your buzzer plus. If you are running a buzzer, you've got your buzzer minus, buzzer plus, which is the five volt. If you're not running a buzzer, then you can just use the five volt for whatever you want. All right, underneath that, we've got an SC pad. Ooh, what's this? We've got a TX4, RX4 right here. Super awesome. All right, so please keep that in mind. This TX4 and RX4 would not be available for use if you are using your OSD, okay? All right, so there you go. We've got a boot button right here. Clicky, clicky. We've got our RGBs like we've talked about. We've got some other stuff going on on this board all kinds of stuff. Here's some LEDs right here. These are going to be your LEDs for communications to let you know, you know, flight controllers connected, flight controllers working, whatever like that. All right, so right here, this is actually very important because these pads right here, they're actually not labeled, but that's your OSD jumper. So if you're going to disable or enable or whatever, those are the two pads that you would use that for. Look at that. Right over here, we've got a hidden back and that, yes, it is a part of the switchable 5 volt, 16 volt back. That's this guy right here. And then you've got a ground, you've got your video in. So if you're running your camera, you'll do that right here. And then you've got your camera control right there. 
All right, flipping the board over, as you can see, there's nothing but a bunch of beautiful connections and everything that you're gonna use to get all of your backs and everything that you love. All right, pilots, so we have gone over this whole board. We have checked it out. We've gone over the pads. I mean, for the most part, we've gone over the connectors. We've gone over the peripherals. We've gone over the speeds. The Most importantly, the MCU, that's what's new, the G4. We've gone over it. So now the big question is here. What are your thoughts on this? Are you excited about the G4? Do you want to see how it flies? Do you would you like me to build it? Do you want a do you want a tutorial on how to set it up? Do you guys want me to stick it in a drone and let's fly it? Or are you the type of pilot that's like, you know what, me, I'm not happy they're doing this. I am happy with my F4s, F7s. I don't know, let me know. Or are you the type of pilot that says, hey, I love that they're pushing the bar. I love what they're doing. Show me more. Let me buy one. I'm going to take it to the sky. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys learned about this board. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you on the next one.